I guess, what's the mindset coming out spring just, uh, you know, with some of the losses y'all have had about some of you other guys stepping up? Uh, so pretty much my mindset is just to get better every day. You know, there's everything, there's something that can, you're not going to be a perfect player. You know, you know what I'm saying? So there's everything, like every, there's a day, there's a day that you can like work on something like specifically. So today I was working on like technique. Tomorrow I'll probably work on footwork and stuff like that, so. What, what have you learned maybe from some of the veteran cornerbacks here? So pretty much, cause I didn't really, like during the games and stuff, I, would, I didn't really play, you know what I'm saying? So, but from watching them, like when they get caught on something like that, it's just like, that was the last play, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's a, it's a different mindset, you know what I'm saying? You, like say if you get caught on, you're like, all right, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Next play, you know what I'm saying? Right. Al talked about you guys having that dog mentality. What is that for you and where does that come from? So that really, I ain't gonna lie. So coming out of high school, I was, I played offense, you know what I'm saying? So I came in and I was just like, I was kind of like out of it. I came in playing safety and then I was, I didn't know, you know, so I didn't know what dog mentality was and they switched me over. And the whole year I was watching Terrell, Petey, Boogie, Al, all of them, there was like, it was like, it was intense practice every day. You know what I'm saying? It was every day. So just watching them, learning from them, that's when I like, I kind of like, kind of like went under their wing and then I just started like changing my mind, like, like everything, like, Cause I wasn't like really a physical dude either. So like I'm, I'm hitting, I'm getting bruises everywhere, and stuff like that. And I'm just like, like keep uh, keep them coming. Like you know what I'm saying, keep them coming. Like stuff like that. You're obviously a little taller than the typical cornerbacks that we see. How do you feel like that that gives you the advantage? Got long arms, so I can jam them <laughs> far away, stay away, <laughs> stay on top. Long strides, I can run. To be real athletic. Talking about how you played offense, do you use some of that mentality in your in your line up against the receiver kind of thing about okay, what are they thinking and, and kind of how that kind of works into that? Well, in high school, it was kind of like I I just I was just athletic, so you know what I'm saying. So I just jumped and everything. I just ran, I just ran faster than everybody. But like switching using it for defense, like when it's like jump balls and stuff, I have the mentality thinking it's my ball too. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm not trying to just like keeping them away from the ball. I'm trying to get an interception. You talked about how when you're in high school and you're so super athletic and sometimes you can just use that to your advantage. Is there a moment where you learn, okay, like I got to, the technique has to catch up because I'm not just going to out-athlete them. Yeah, 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 so I know like everyone's athletic over here. Like, you know what I'm saying, everybody's athletic. And then my freshman year, I came in and I had no technique. I didn't know how to backpedal and like, you know what I'm saying, open up. I couldn't do none of that. So like the whole year, that's pretty much all I like worked on and stuff like that. And then now I feel like I can, like that gave me the edge. Do you, do you like the challenge of playing cornerback? It, everybody says it's always the hardest spot. I feel like it is the hardest spot because like the the receivers, they're like pretty much, they're like so talented. You know what I'm saying? They got footwork, they're faster. They, sometimes they can be faster than you. And you know what I'm saying? Just like, if you just know what you're doing though, like footwork wise, like your footwork and how to jam. And it's just like, it's kind of like an art. You know what I'm saying? So like you can just, you can compete with anybody if you just know what you're doing. Did they tell you coming in, or did you know you were going to switch to defense, or when did you yeah. find that out? So they were they recruited me, and they was like, yeah, pretty much you're going to be like an athlete and stuff, but we're probably going to have you like a safety or like corner or something. Like, we're going we're gonna to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, all right, cool. That was my, my only big offer. So I was like, I'm down with it, I'm down for whatever. You were running back, receiver? What? I was a receiver. So what do you like about moving over to the defensive side? Is there an area where you kind of like can embrace that part of it? Well, I feel like. Uh, I don't know. I just got real comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? I just just watching everybody else in front of me, uh, just watching them do what they did. It is like I was like, I want to do that too. Like watching Al, I saw him like suplex somebody last year, and I practiced, and I was like, dang, I want that's what that's me. I want to do that. I want to do that. So off of that, is there a guy? Obviously, you have your own style, but is there a guy you try to like model your game after, or are you really are like, okay, I want to do this like him and things like that? Uh, not really. I just kind of try to focus on myself. I don't really watch like the NFL. Like I didn't grow up watching the NFL or anything like that. I ain't got a favorite team or nothing. I just try to go out there and just be myself.